an hour or so ago, I installed Tesla FSD Supervised version 12.5. This came out fairly quickly after the uh, early distribution. Early reviews, as usual, are very glowing. We'll find out how it does. As far as changes, it says earlier and more natural lane change decisions, vision-only driver monitoring and sunglasses, end-to-end -end on highway, and the appearance of FSD for Cybertruck. Uh, none of the other changes really look very significant. The uh, 2024.20.9 came in two days ago with the... Uh, adaptive headlights. I didn't receive much difference driving a little bit last night with that, but we'll see how that goes moving forward. So in any case, I'm up pretty early. It's uh, just before 6 a.m. about to head to work. So let's see how it goes. I've not activated the autopilot yet. I'm still in the driveway and I do have a security gate to get through, which I don't really think it's very likely that the FSD will, will navigate well. So I'll plan to activate the FSD once I exit the neighborhood. Apologize for the visibility with the high humidity in the morning. A lot of times the windshield tends to fog up a little bit. We're recording today on the Insta360 X4 360 camera. So we'll go ahead and activate the FSD here. See how this goes. So I just ran the yellow. It's pretty smooth considering the limited visibility, though it is improving with the defroster. I didn't really review the settings on the autopilot. I left them uh, in average aggressiveness with the previous version. I don't know if those got reset or updated, but I'll check that later. Maybe I'll check that now. Yeah, it looks like the settings stayed the same. So this is a school zone up here, but it's before the hours that they activate it with the flashing lights. There is a 20 minute speed limit sign. Let's see if it resets. No, it does not. It did say school zone above. So either we missed the speed limit or it intelligently decided the school zone was not active. Now after this next traffic light, this left lane traps you into a left turn lane from which you cannot exit. So to continue ahead, you really have to get out of this lane within about half a mile of passing the next traffic light. So let's see what happens. It figures out a lane change is needed. If not, I'll help it out because if it does get trapped in the wrong lane, it might take up to 15 minutes to get back on track sort of a special case. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a turn signal because I'm not sure if it's going to take this turn or not. Because again, if you stay in this left lane, you're going to be trapped pretty quickly. And I don't really have time today to let it make the error. So it remains to be seen how FSD 12.5 would have handled that. Not really sure how it can anticipate that, but they put up a barricade to prevent people from leaving that left turn lane. It starts up here where this yellow sign is. See this guy up ahead is pulling over at the last second as he realized he was gonna be trapped. I would say it's a little bit more brisk in the acceleration. The braking is fairly smooth. It's driving fairly human-like right now. It's not wasting as much time as previous versions would. From being over timid. <clears throat> Again, this is my first time driving with the version. I'll record some more in the daytime when I finish work. 
I see a little green dot here next to the FSD indicator. Not really sure what that's for. If anybody knows, leave a comment. So we only have a little bit over two miles left to get to the hospital, which it says six minutes. Not the most challenging drive, but there is traffic at least. Doing a pretty good job of keeping pace with traffic. Again, driving about the way a human would be expected to drive. A safe follow distance. We'll eventually need to get in the right lane to turn into the hospital complex. One more mile until the turn. So I'm wearing reading glasses, not sunglasses, but it is dark. So I'm not sure how well it can see my eyes, but there have been uh, no nags yet at least. They're supposed to be pretty rare with this version. There goes our turn signal. Your normal lane change. My morning diet Coke. No, I'm not sponsored, but if you hear me, Coca-Cola, you better catch it now before I go to Pepsi. Do they still sell Jolt Colas? Doesn't seem very healthy. I remember the can used to say twice the sugar and all the caffeine. I'm going to try to take this first entrance if it'll let me. Let's put the turn signal on. There's room to go, but it's not going. So it looks like it's going to go ahead and take the entrance it was planning on. So while you can force a lane change or request a lane change, it won't really let you uh, go off route with the turn signal. So I learned something new. This is the entrance it planned to take. And I'll deactivate it here because we arrived. So no errors, pretty crisp driving. Not the most challenging ride. Certainly we'll put it more through its paces later on when I have a little more time to set up more interesting routes, but nothing to complain about yet. So until next time, see you later on.